What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are out here. But before we start the video, half you guys that are watching my videos aren't subscribed. So um there's gonna be a little animation right here. You guys just do what that does, and I'm gonna sit here and wait for a second so you guys can do that. Did did you do it? Uh, okay, we're just gonna say that you guys did it. If, if you did, thank you, appreciate it. Um just stick with the channel for a little while. Oh, that's some thunder, that's a nice little afternoon shower. Summertime showers, no, no, no biggie, you know, we, we can handle it, We're, we'll be on the John boat. But um, yeah, as you guys can tell from the title, we are going to be doing a mystery tackle box slam today. Um, this is the month of August. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to try to do one every month, but I got a three month subscription. So after September, I'm out, but I'm probably going to at least get to October's. And then possibly, you know, we'll get another little subscription thing just depends on how you guys like the videos because you guys seem to enjoy the mystery tackle box slams and i do too they're really fun and um they're a great company they really it's like the seventh or sixth i got my box so it really did not take long to get it shipped in but we're about to grab the box and open it up and show you guys a little bit about what's inside and then we're gonna go out on the boat on the lake and um catch a fish on every single one that's at least the plan will it happen hopefully maybe not i don't know we're just gonna have to find out but um yeah let's hop into what is in this month's mystery tackle box all right so we got the mystery tackle box right here this is the month of august like i said i'm gonna open this thing up a little bit you know we got a um nice little crankbait to start off with right here and this thing is gonna get destroyed i already know it this is like perfect colored perfect bait out here it's a um five to ten foot diver so good deep water bait which is gonna be good so we'll put that aside. And then we got some big bite baits. These are, um, it looks like some green pumpkin looking crawls. I'll go more in depth when I pull these things out of the package because it's a small little bag and you really can't see what's inside. But um, yeah, we got those. And then we got another little green pumpkin looking beaver slash crawfish kind of thing, you know. Lots of creature baits and soft plastics in this box, honestly. Like I, I was not expecting that many. And then we have a little road runner which is uh i've never used one of these it's a little jig head with a um little spinner on there and some swim baits with it so this will probably be the most difficult thing if i had to pick one not because it's not going to get bit just because of the color um and then we have biospawn's new creature baits which is the exopod i've been wanting to try these things out these things just came out not too long ago so it's kind of cool they put them in the box this month and um this is the okeechobee crawl color so that's gonna be bit i'm really i'm really excited about that and then we got some um some hooks in there a little oh, i just missed it's a two pack four out four out hooks to drop them on the ground then we have the um sticker little catch coast sticker which is um it's pretty cool you know you got the red white and blue and then we have a little pamphlet on things for fishing you know sometimes i read those things when i really struggle then you have the old what's inside then you have tips and tricks a little dibble and then they gave me two exopod things basically shows you where to fish it but um we, we don't need that we're gonna go out on a limb and fish it wherever i want to fish it you know and uh hopefully we catch a fish on all of these baits i feel like we should hardest thing like i said is probably gonna be that little road runner just because it's blue and white not that it's a bad color it's just i don't think it's gonna get bit as much as the other ones and then we have our little catch coast sticker which is actually gonna go right here on my camera bag somewhere uh, i have a pick out a spot for it but uh, as you guys can see we have a few little mystery tackle box stickers and a little Guggen squad sticker at the top this will probably go somewhere right here on the side not sure yet but you know you gotta love the stickers that's honestly one of my favorite parts which is kind of funny you know I, I care more about the sticker than the baits that's not true but it, it it's about true it's about the same for both so it's about to tie these things up and i'll see you guys in a second all right we just got everything rigged up we have the scorpion with the little road runner on it then we have the slx with the deep diving crank then we have a shaky head tied up on the scorpion dc and then a t-rig on the corrado so now all we need is the mystery tackle box which i'm getting right now all right we got the mystery tackle box we got our terminal tackle we got some pliers and oh gosh geez that was nice you guys saw nothing okay we got all of our stuff right here we have our terminal tackle box then we got some nail clippers for cutting line and then we got some pliers so all we need now is the battery and we will be ready to go 
All right, let's do this. We're gonna start off with the old deep diving crank, five to 10 foot. Um, looks like a little sexy shad color. Uh, I didn't really read the box. I don't think it really said, but um, this should get bit pretty quick. And then we'll probably move on to that road runner, depending on how quick this bite is. And then we're gonna be on the soft plastic game. So hopefully we're gonna knock this out pretty soon. We just gave it a little spot change. Definitely about to pick up a bite here in a second because this is gonna be the spot. I just have that feeling. Shouldn't take too long. Like it really shouldn't be. The fish out here love moving baits and all they do is chase bait. So this is like the perfect thing to be throwing right now. But maybe we just need to find the right spot. We're like right up against a drop off too. So it's pretty deep where I'm casting. So, you know, maybe we're about to just run this by the right fish's face and we're about to crank one. Ooh, that felt like a bite. Oh yeah, there we go. I, I feel him. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Give us some attention here. Oh wow, this is a good fish. Let's give it a little bit of drag and come towards the net over here. Okay, okay, okay. You just chill out, you do your thing. He's pulling slow. Oh, we may have a monster on. It's hard to tell. It doesn't look too big, but he's definitely pulling pretty good. He's swimming underneath the boat. No, you don't. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. He's got, oh gosh. Oh, it's not even in his mouth anymore. Oh no. Okay, I got him. Oh yes, there we go. First fish, baby. Good one too. All right, and like that, the crankbait has its first victim. Really good first fish, saying about three, three and a half, maybe four. Could push it. Um, he just smoked it right off the bottom. As soon I was reeling it and just boom, took it. Um, yeah, nice first fish. We're about to get him back in the water. Look at that mouth on this fish. I'm about to go ahead, get a quick little release here. Look at that. Such a nice looking fish. About to get it a quick little release and then we're gonna be on to the next bait here. See you, girl. Haha, -ha, there we go. First bait of the slam. Down, finished. Now we're about to move on to probably the Roadrunner or a um, soft plastic. So, all right, let's open up the old MTB and see what exactly we're going to throw in a shaky head. I think I'm going to go with these big bites and then these other little whatever these things are. It's a Raptor Tail Junior. So that's going to be next, but these big bite baits are going to be first. Um, if you guys can take a look at these things, these things are huge little creature baits. So go here, throw it on the bottom, put it in front of a fish's face and then boom, easy. Look at that. The thing is ready to go. And I, and I think what the thing is with this bait is it's on a shaky head. It's going to sit there and those little appendages are just going to be moving around and drive the fish insane. So this should not take long. Nope, not anymore. Something did hit it though. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Oh, it's a tree. That's cool. Oh no, there's a fish. He wrapped me. Oh, he spit it. Are you kidding? That was insane. All right, I think this is gonna be my last cast and I'm gonna make a move. And then we're gonna keep up with this crazy looking creature bait until it gets a bite. Oh yeah, there we go, something has it. There we go, he picked it up off the bottom. I was just hopping along. Oh, that's another good one. Whoa, what is happening today? Okay, net, net please. Oh wow, hello. Okay, we need we need you to just chill for a second, you know? Just, just swing along over here towards me. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more reeling in. All right, here he is. Come on, buddy, going towards me. I'm gonna be your new friend. You have nothing to worry about. Oh yes, he's in. Let's go. Thing is gone. Look at that. Hello. Welcome to the boat. Thank you for biting. We really needed that. Who has produced another nice looking 
and nice fish um i'm saying at least three on this one i mean just look at this fish that was a crazy bite too i was just hopping it and then it just picked it up and started going but um about to get a little release here all right big girl let me look at the mouth for you guys all right big girl thank you for biting the old huge big bites bait um hopefully we're about to get the rest of them knocked out here but thank you we really needed that bye love you kisses too far maybe excite baits high floater not sure what that means a raptor tail junior in the green pumpkin color Let's see what these bad boys look like another really they're kind of similar one is just a little bit bigger presentation than the other um and they're different colored but this one should should do the same exact thing just bring in the hogs As you guys can see it's really dark back there it's actually lightning right now oh that's a nice thunder um a giant bolt just struck which is kind of scary for me because i am on a metal boat oh that's some lightning i really want to go fish over there too but that's where like the big storm is so i may just have to leave and go fish somewhere else which sucks i've made the smart decision which is take the boat back and fish off the land for a little bit until it just absolutely starts storming because it's about to throw down like it's about to be bad too i don't know maybe it'll miss i'm gonna fish off the bank as long as i can but i mean what what am i gonna do whenever i'm out here i have four combos and all my gear on the boat and then i have a camera on the golf cart in a bag that's supposed to be waterproof supposed to be not saying it is um yeah so i think the smartest thing is play it safe fish off the land for a little bit then maybe we'll come back and fish on the boat if it passes or after it gets done so all right let's see what do we want to throw shaky head or I think we should go shaky head see the thing is we're on the bank right now because of the giant storm which is now changing directions and going that way and that way so maybe it'll miss us i'm not sure but i don't like being on the boat when lots of lightning's happening and i know it's about to storm it's getting in this getting too real for me getting real quick I mean, you guys can hear the wind. I know because my GoPro doesn't have a wind mic. But you can hear that. It's picking up. It's coming right over me. Last cast, and I'm out. I'll come back. Oh my god, jeez. Okay, yeah, we're out. The rain just quit, finally. Um, storm's kind of passing, I guess you could say. So, we're still using the soft plastic. We gotta catch one more fish on this thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Welcome to the boat. Last one on the soft plastic. Now we just have the the old. Ooh, this fish is warm. We have the old exopod, and then we have the old whatever that swim thingy is. But that's a nice little little fish on the old. Um, so the X, X something, I don't remember the name, but not a bad one. Let's get a little quick release here, and then we're going to finish up the rest of this challenge. See you, guy. All right, that was the X side baits. We have the big bites. We have the road runner left and the exopod. So I'm about to go ahead and throw on the old exopod here, and we're going to catch a few fish. We're, oh, wow, that's like perfect hook slot. That is like, sorry, like perfect. Look at that. That's a little hook slot right there. That's perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this thing bit. And then we'll only have left the Roadrunner, which shouldn't take too long. I feel like I probably should just work this thing really slow on the bottom. Just kind of drag it. I feel like we're about to smoke one pretty soon. I mean, the first soft plastic took no time. So maybe, oh, yep, there we go, fish. There we go. Oh, it was decent. Oh, yeah, that's another decent one. They're out deep. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there we go. On the old exopod. Nothing better right there than right here. Oh geez, that's a feisty fish. There we go. On the old exopod. That's a good one. Not gonna lie. Top of the lip hook set. Look at the eye on this thing. Look at it. Look how weird it looks. All right, nice little two pounder for sure. Well, wow, every fish today has just been a nice one. So, you know, we're just gonna keep up the keep up the pace here. See you, guy. Thanks for the bite on the old exopod. Really helping out with this challenge. Look at that. Look how beautiful this fish is. There he goes. Back to the depths. See you, big guy. All right, last bait of the slam. We have this road runner over here. Hopefully, this thing doesn't take too long to get bit, you know. But the bite seems to be pretty good after that storm rolled through, so. Oh, oh I got one. There we go. On the road runner. A little dink. We'll take it, though. That's the slam. All we gotta do is just land him. Oh, you're kidding. He spit it. He spit it. That, I, I shouldn't have jinxed myself. I jinxed myself right there. All right, we're rigged up. It's not a bad one. Decent size. Oh, gosh. On the old big bites bait. See you, guy. All right, we just made it off the water. We just completed the slam, kind of. I broke off the little road runner thingy. I set the hook and it just snapped off. I don't know if it was a fish or a tree. I'm not really sure. Don't really care. That bait was not my favorite, as you guys could probably tell. But we did get a fish to the boat on it, so I'm going to count it as a completion. Everything else in the box worked great. All the soft plastics were amazing. Um, if you guys see like one or two more catches, before this outro, I fished a little bit. I just wanted to do this so it didn't get dark. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more Mystery Tackle Box slams, make sure you drop them down below. And um, any any video I do, just go ahead and drop them down. And uh, make sure you guys remember to subscribe if you're new and um, stick with us. So um, yeah, I'm about to get out of here because um, I've been fishing all day. It's been a struggle with the little Roadrunner, but it broke off. So we, we took care of that. It took forever. But I mean, I'm going to count it. So, But if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.